run it, run it, run it, run it. Frank Ocean and Tyler the Creator are two of the most prominent and distinct voices in modern music. Frank's introspective lyricism shines on Channel Orange. While Tyler's brash and unconventional production style is evident on Goblin. Fuck the fat lady, it's over when all the kids sing. Kill people, fuck shit, fuck Despite their divergent approaches, the former Odd Future members have collaborated on over a dozen tracks throughout their careers. The question is, what magic unfolds when these two musical powerhouses come together? Hey. If you enjoy watching fascinating stories about your favorite artists, consider subscribing. I've also made a Spotify playlist featuring every collaboration between Frank and Tyler, the ones available on Spotify anyway. You can find the link to that in the box below. How are you guys going to celebrate tonight? 300. Go to the mall and uh, buy some potato salad. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. What happens when two music artists with drastically different styles come together to create music? Well, in the case of Frank Ocean and Tyler the Creator, it results in a fascinating fusion of silky vocals and unconventional production that somehow just clicks. Let's take a look at their joint effort on She from Tyler's album Goblin. Blood on the sheets, probably spilling from my cash. Looked out the glass, and was sprinting on the grass. Despite its eerie undertones, the track is actually one of Tyler's more laid-back offerings from the album. Frank's smooth as silk vocals on the chorus perfectly complement Tyler's quirky production, culminating in a song that's both haunting and beautiful. The blind's wide open so he can see you in the dark when you're sleeping. Tyler's verses, on the other hand, introduce some edgier production elements and lyrics that can be rather unsettling, giving the track an added layer of complexity and making it a real standout on the record. Nightlight hits soft, I'm turning kisses to bites. I'm a down to earth nigga with intentions that's right. You'll be down to earth. However, it's not just she where these two artists show off their complimentary styles. In Golden Girl, a track from Frank's Channel Orange, we get to see a different side of their collaboration. This time, it's Pharrell who's in charge of the production, crafting a light and breezy track that's ideal for Frank's sultry voice. Although the song starts off on a positive note, it's clear that both Frank and Tyler are well aware of the potential downsides of being involved with this Golden Girl. I want you to know that my negatives at home aren't working for my Kodak, so that means that I don't want to go back, just know that. Ultimately, it's the interplay between Frank's introspective and metaphorical approach and Tyler's irreverent and double entendre filled lyrics that make their collaboration so intriguing. It's 12 on my wrist, it's 20 on my neck, bitch. <laughs> Frank and Tyler are two artists who may have very distinct styles, but one thing they both excel at is writing powerful and thought-provoking lyrics. One great example of this is their collaboration on Oldie, a standout 10-minute track from the Odd Future Tape Volume 2. Shouts out to Lev Brizzle, shouts out to Damien, shouts out to Frankie Ocean. This song features the entire Odd Future crew and showcases the talents of both Frank and Tyler, as well as the rest of the group. Flowing like my pad is the max, he is my bitch, white and black, like she's been mimicking a panda, it's the dark skin nigga kissing bitches. Tyler's verse on the oldie is a wild ride of stream of consciousness, slang, vulgarity, and pop culture references. It's a great display of his wordplay and cultural knowledge. On the other hand, Frank's verse is more introspective, reflecting on his personal experiences and journey to success. I used to work the grill, fat burger and fries. Then I made a meal and I'm psychics with lies. Now he brings a personal touch to the song by referencing his own identity and life story. But it's Tyler's final verse that really packs a punch here. He takes a serious turn and speaks to the struggles of being a black creative in predominantly white spaces. And the ones who got called weird fag bitch nerd cause you was in a jazz kitty cats and Steven Spielberg. Tyler directly addresses black kids in the suburbs, and those who have been bullied for their interests and hobbies that don't align with societal norms. He encourages listeners to embrace their individuality and diverse backgrounds. So instead of critiquing a bitch and being mad as fuck, just admit not only are we talented, we're rad as fuck, bitch. These two artists not only represent their generation authentically, with their exceptional songwriting abilities and unique styles, but they also stand out as exceptional artists within the larger Odd Future crew. Frank's older than me and I was just, like he, he, had, a, he had a nice car, a nice, nice house, like, nice, like 
he had cool shit. And I would just always be like, fuck, like, that's tight. And he would just always say, like, dude, like, you, you're going to get it soon. Like, don't worry about it. Like, he would just always put that in my head. Like, don't worry about it. Like, you'll get that shit. Like, all right. And he was he was always the most positive dude. And out of his fucking mind, 100%, that guy is crazy. But, like, <laughs> he, he, always, he always had my back, like, Taco's back, like, because we was, like, broke. And he took me to studios I've never been to and shit because I was recording at SIDS. And I've never like been to big studios and he was just he was just showing like us like a bunch of shit. So I, I thank him for that. Tyler's Flower Boy and Frank's Blonde marked a significant shift from their earlier musical endeavors. Flower Boy presents a more reflective and sophisticated side of Tyler, while Blonde experiments with personal themes and pushes the boundaries of a conventional album. These works showcase the artist's growth as songwriters, producers, and vocalists, and their continued evolution over time. As they've matured, Tyler and Frank's styles have become more complementary, resulting in some of their most memorable collaborations to date. Was the last time I asked for some help that I couldn't get from nobody else yet. Biking, which debuted on Ocean's Blonded radio show a year after Blonde, is a dreamy track that blends piano and acoustic guitar. Frank's introspective lyrics explore self-reliance, reflection, and the freedom he feels when biking. And I'm biking, I'm biking with me and my tank. AD's got the angels, TV's got the angels. Meanwhile, Tyler's vivid lyrics describe riding his bike through the streets and the thrill of the experience. Fish tail downhill, yeah. I rose my rate, brand new brakes. Their contrasting vocal styles add depth to the track, showcasing Frank's growth as an artist and his ability to experiment with different sounds. Similarly, Where This Flower Blooms highlights Tyler's growth and self-confidence. The song encourages listeners to embrace their individuality and disregard the opinions of others. The track has a more melodic and jazzy sound than Tyler's previous works, highlighting his growth as a producer. Frank's emotive vocals add a touch of vulnerability to the track building anticipation for the explosive chorus. Run it, run it, run it. I run, I roll, I glow, I glow, I glow. I run, I roll. The song celebrates personal growth and success, while acknowledging the challenges that come with self-discovery. Their collaborative efforts have resulted in some of their most captivating and musically diverse works to date, and they continue to push the boundaries of what is possible within the music industry. What the fuck did you just say? I, said it. I was real calm and shit, but I'll fuck you up right now. What did you just say to me? What you, what the fuck you got to say to me, man? He thinks he's Moesha when he's home alone. You think you the brat when you not at home. You you ate out JD. Oh. You ate out Missy, no challenge. You fucked all the members from Jagged Edge before the Where the Party At single. You fucked 98 Degrees while Britney Spears watched, no challenge. You let we finger you. You let Jimmy Fallon do you. You let Tavis Smiley suck your gooch. You let Tyler Perry cash you in his next movie. You braided AJ from 106 in Park's hair. You faded Lil Zane's. <laughs> <laughs> no challenge. <laughs> no motherfucking challenge. One of the earliest examples of their creative synergy is Analog 2 from the Odd Future Tape Volume 2. <laughs> It's a playful and flirty tune that invites the listener to enjoy a summer day with someone special. Pour a glass of lemonade, it's snow cone and pop tarts. I got a heart and I got you. Let me take a dip and you can take a break. That's only Tyler's verses are bursting with energy and humor, while Frank's bridge adds a soulful touch that pulls at the heartstrings. The result is a carefree and summery atmosphere that makes you want to join them by the lake. I'll make sure we have a good time. A good time. Analog 2 is my favorite song. That's funny, really? I've been, I want to, I just want to make music like that forever. Soulful. I, yeah, if that's what you want to call it, yeah. No, it is. It's cool. It's like, it's very sort of, uh, it's a very kind of soulful take on, on what you guys do. And whenever you work with Frank, that's a nice opportunity for you to do that side of things too. Yeah. yeah. Slater from Tyler's album Wolf is another noteworthy example of their collaboration. The dark and menacing song reflects on Tyler's rise to fame and the pressures that come with it. While out of shows, great shit, it should be fun. Venues are like pussy with me. Should he come? He talks about growing up in the slums and his frustrations with the industry. The chorus, which mentions Slater, his bike, and listening to N.E.R.D., offers a break from the verses and highlights Tyler's love of biking and the freedom it represents. Slater. 
Frank's interlude adds a lighthearted touch, poking fun at Tyler for writing a song about his bike. Interestingly, this was five years before Frank wrote his own track about biking. <laughs> You're talking to a fucking bike, loser. <laughs> a more recent collaboration, 911 Mr. Lonely from Tyler's album Flower Boy, shows how their creative synergy has evolved over the years. I've been looking for a key punk. Listen to the speaker. If you fit description, hit me on my beat by that 911. This song reflects on the emotional toll of fame and the difficulty of finding meaningful connections in a superficial world. Sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp. Welcome in the bars, bars. I remember I made that bridge and it was just the beat. And I remember stopping like, I made the bridge that I've always wanted to make. Lonnie came by, or Frank, however people know him, and he came by and I played it for him. He was like, yo, let me go in there and just try something. He just started making phone noises and it worked out so perfectly, and he was like, all right, and we kept it. Was it longer? No. Tyler's verses are introspective and emotional, while Frank's brief appearance adds an extra layer of vulnerability and depth. But it's the catchy chorus and Tyler's unique flow that make the song unforgettable. Full tank of the gas, but that don't mean nothing, 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 nothing. What I choose shotgun in the past. What's remarkable about Tyler and Frank's collaborations is how they maintain their creative synergy despite their different styles and approaches. They bring out the best in each other's artistry, resulting in a range of songs that vary from playful and carefree to introspective and emotional. Run it, run it, run it, run it. The musical chemistry between Frank Ocean and Tyler the Creator is a mesmerizing fusion of their distinct styles. It's safe to say that we haven't seen the last of Tyler and Frank's dynamic collaborations, and I can hardly wait to see what they have in store for us next. What's been your favorite collaboration from the two? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're a fan of Tyler the Creator's Igor and Flower Boy, be sure to check out my other videos analyzing these albums. Thanks for watching.